October 28th, Saints Simon and Jude. Simon, surnamed the Zealot, may have been part of the group of that name which repudiated foreign domination of Israel. Beyond the fact that he was chosen by our Lord as one of the twelve apostles, there is no mention of him in the Gospels. According to Western tradition, after preaching in Egypt, he joined St. Jude in Syria and suffered martyrdom there. Jude, also known as Thaddeus, is clearly distinguished from Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Jesus. He is mentioned two times in the Gospels, and he is thought to have been a cousin of our Lord on St. Joseph's side. His attribute is the club or axe, by means of which he is thought to have suffered martyrdom. In the most generally accepted depiction of St. Jude, the apostle holds a medallion with the face of our Lord, possibly linked to the image of Edessa. The legend of the image of Edessa is recorded by Eusebius. According to the account, King Abgar, being ill, sent a letter to Jesus through a messenger by the name of Hannah. In this letter, Abgar asked Jesus for a cure. Hannah either painted an image of the face of Jesus or received it miraculously by Jesus lifting a cloth to his face and imprinting his image upon it. The royal messenger brought the image back to Edessa. After the death of our holy Savior, the apostle Thomas sent Jude to Abgar, and Jude cured the king miraculously. Astonished by the cure, the king accepted Christianity, and many of his subjects were baptized. St. Jude is also depicted with a flame above his forehead, indicating that he received the Holy Ghost with the other apostles at Pentecost. St. Jude has left us a short but powerful epistle written after the death of his brother James, Bishop of Jerusalem, and addressed to the new Christians being tempted by false brethren and heretics. According to tradition, after Jude's martyrdom, pilgrims visited his grave and many experienced his powerful intercession. St. Bridget of Sweden and St. Bernard had visions from God in which they were shown St. Jude as the patron saint of the impossible. St. Jude's relics were brought from Beirut to Rome and today rest along those of St. Simon in St. Peter's Basilica. On this day, when we commemorate the martyrdom of these two illustrious apostles, we should ask St. Jude to restore our courage for the fight against modernism. Then we should ask for St. Simon's zeal, so that this renewed courage will become a blazing torch against the enemies of the Holy Church.